Previously, on Accidental Broadcast. Oh yeah, that hurt. <coughs> oh, get... <coughs> I can't breathe. Reverse camera thrust. And if you guys see anything in this video that you want to see me thoroughly review, uh, just let me know. Otherwise, I'm, I'm just going to kind of skim over why I set this thing up like this. So I wasn't entirely happy with the... Although it does come with a ton of mounting options um, to mount the camera, you know, on the side of your helmet or on top of the helmet uh, with various attachments, Velcro, etc., etc., but I ended up going with my own little <laughs> jerry-rigged epoxied to one of their components sort of rig here. And it's so I can move the camera around pretty quickly. These magnets actually come with um, the camera. I think it comes with eight magnets and they're extremely strong magnets. I, I'm blown away at how strong these things are. They're great. So, you see that thing just grabbed on. Um, so the camera will go up here on the helmet. I'll drop this cable down through the... This is a, um, this is an Icon variant, sort of like a dual sport helmet. It's not an MX helmet. It's not a street helmet. It's something in between. It's got you know a lot of vents. Anyways, I do a thorough review on this helmet if you guys wanna, if you wanna see that for this helmet in particular. I there are things I like about it, things I don't like about it. Moving on, wire drops down the side here, and I have this kind of tucked away, but I've got one of these little um, I don't know what these are called. These like chain links, and I just throw the wire through that and it kind of runs down my side it stays out of the visor which is one of the most important things it still lets me put the helmet on very easily it has a nice amount of play in there so you know when you're turning your head in either direction you never notice this wire is connected which is very functional it's awesome um, I just <laughs> I have the uh, Okay, here, shameless plug right here, bingo! I make windscreens for other digital recorders, but this is just a little piece of fur stuck to this um, in-wire mic with some of that poster tack, that blue poster tack. So if the mic was on this side, I just made a circle around the mic and stuck a little swatch of fur on there. Done. And that, but that mic won't be used for vlogging. That that's going to be used for something else. Uh, this mic here, it's a pretty inexpensive Audio Technica. I don't know the exact model. I'll link it down here in the what's it called the the crankcase down here. So pretty simple, nice little think tank bag. I think it's the yeah the Lens Changer 15. It's made for you know, 35 millimeter camera lenses, but it works great for this purpose. It doesn't fit all the way in there, but it's actually, that's actually a good thing. When you cinch this thing up, you can still see your record start stop button, glance down, make sure everything's fine and you're actually recording and not in standby. An extra set of rechargeable Duracells, always nice. And here's the, <laughs> here's my little rig. And it's pretty simple. It's just a lav mic um, fastened to a piece of metal with two of those magnets, again, that the, the POV HD comes with. Ex extremely strong magnets. They're, they're so impressive. <clears throat> and I, it comes with this little foam windscreen, but I uh, fastened a piece of um, wire over it. So it would secure my own little windscreen that I created for it. This bag, let me show you one thing real quick, has got this nice little plastic spline in it and it goes behind your belt. 
secured with Velcro. So this will be on one side of my hip. Hopefully I won't fall on it again. Ah, eh, actually hopefully I do. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so this will go through your belt. It's nice, it's light. You don't barely even notice it's there. This wire will go up through your shirt, through my shirt, and into the helmet. And basically you just, you know, you can drop this thing in, in there anywhere. And the second it sticks on there, I mean, it is on there. Look at that thing. And then if I get off the bike, simple, just pull it out and you're set. And the audio quality is good. It's nice. When I'm not on the bike, well, the thing is I want to be able to go and there's a lot, a lot of locations here on Maui. I'll have to get off the bike. So this is where the, this whole system changes. I wanted to be able to get off the bike and like go and show you something cool like a waterfall. I might have to do a little hike. I might have to hike up there. So, and I don't want to carry the helmet with me. So I just, you know, I want to lock the helmet on the bike, but I definitely don't want to lock the helmet on the bike with the camera and with the Velcro that it came with hooked up to this thing, just each time you remove the Velcro, it just became more and more sloppy. You see how, I mean, look at this thing. Okay. I don't know if you can see that. Let me bend this over here. Um, you can, I'm pulling on it and it's like flexing the visor on the helmet. I mean, these magnets are ridiculous. I love it. So yeah, so I take it off the helmet. If I'm gonna go to a waterfall or show you guys something cool and I wanna park the bike, lock up the helmet, throw my hat on, and I have another little metal clip there. So now I got a little hat cam going down. And the POV HD actually comes with this pretty functional hat cam connection where you can just, I mean the magnets will pull through the material. It's a two piece system, one piece inside, one piece outside, held together with magnets. But that too is kinda, it's just a little too much and this is much easier. And, you know, then my hands will be free, which is great. And we can go hiking. And then, if we, this will be on the other hip. So if there's something that's in the distance, like the whales were breaching in that first video, it was pretty cool, but you could not see it because this angle is just way too wide. Um, and the wider the angle, the harder it is to see things in the distance, even though they're, they're not, they don't seem like they're that far away. That just increases that factor. So, in the other, Think Tank, Lens Changer 15. We've got this little guy. And this is a Panasonic TM700. It's a consumer grade camera, but it's their flagship model and it's, it's a great camera. I'll do a review on it if you want me to. But what's, and I did the same little <laughs> fur thing up here with the poster tack tape, or poster tack, you can actually see it. Because wind noise is your enemy. And that's it. I'll show you some footage right now of it on the helmet, the hat, and maybe even some Panasonic TM700 footage. Bye-bye. Uh, one thing I've noticed about the VIO POV HD, which I don't really like, is they don't give you an option to um, turn off the exposure compensation. Balancing, 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 balancing. Whoa. What? Oh, that one's got a, that one's got a shaker too. Oh, oh, don't fall in the lava. Ah, burgles. Something feels 
kind of, I don't know, maybe it's just my imagination, but something feels a little twisted, kind of off, although it seems like it's dipping down this way. I don't know. could be my imagination. All right. I'm going to go make a sandwich. Bye-bye. Woohoo! My wheelies are getting better. Hopefully I'll go down on one and make another... Oh, whoa, 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 whoa,